the open bar guys okay so this is the <coughs> this is the rendered version of the hair we have to take a snapshot of this <coughs> okay it's a rendered version looks good but i'd like to try something else in here i want to introduce some measure of white hairs on top of this to introduce some measure of white hairs okay so let me think i'll just do a quick save for this so this i'm doing this on 1.8 gamma on a6 it should look somewhat different like so i'm doing this on 1.8 gamma instead so i'm going to save this render okay let me just name this to a uh, tests okay so I'll, <clears throat> I will leave this as it is so i'm going to apply a new material to this a white material and i'm going to use a black and white mark to kind of drive that kind of drive that texture so selecting the description again a top head hair then i would right click and hold apply a new material and no standard surface and no standard hair rather okay i'll just rename this to ai white hairs and based on the documentation based on the documentation white hairs around the value of white hairs around the value of zero so let's use something around zero melanin for zero for the melanin zero point zero one instead okay don't want any redness in there okay, let's see what the default redness looks like okay so this shape should be 3.6 based on the <clears throat> based on the documentation for chinese set of hairs 3.6 or asian set of hairs 3.6 then roughness i will increase the roughness to 0 0.5 okay so let's do a test render for this let's see what we have so it should be updating soon Now this looks too white. Maybe we just need it for a few seconds. Let me just get closer view. I'm just going to render just this, this portion of this view. Should probably come back when this is done. Okay, so if you must know, brighter colors are very more expensive. You need to crank up the color specular samples to make something a bit more accurate so i might not be that long this so what i'm actually going to do is to let me stop this for now i'm going to generate a black and white mark that i can use to that i can later use to drive later use to drive where i want this white test to be showing so stop this for now what I'm going to do is to I'll go to this scalp. 
go to the scalp I'll bring this out make it a bit make it visible then I need to check the UVs for it okay that is not visible Why is, the, why is it even hiding? I have no idea why it's hiding. Anyway, it doesn't matter that much. We already have this on there, so. We already have this on there, <clears throat> so it shouldn't matter that much. Just don't know why. Okay, yes. I don't know why it's just hiding itself. I have no idea why it's hiding itself. Well, as long as I have something in there, that's completely fine. So, I'm, what I'm going to do is to export this out. I'm going to export this out as an OBJ. Okay, so let me export this out. Uh, Z import Z exports instead. Okay, I think FBX should be fine for now. So, head scalp. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to open up some plans painter. I want to kind of generate some kind of maxim for it. Like some black and white marks for it. So this is kind of this is what's gonna going to drive where I want the white hairs to kind of show on this. We'll close this. Let's just import this in. So under the exports scalp. Click OK. Yeah, if you just see something generic in here, let me adjust the camera setting a bit more. So, focal lens is pretty sad, 55. Okay. I'm not going to create a black. On white texture that will kind of drive this. Let's just get big, big, big in here. Just get big, big. And I'm also going to save this file. Well, maybe I should have imported the eye also, the eye scalp also. Uh, okay, no, no, let's just work with this alone. Okay, so close this. Let me save this also. Save this also. SP scalp. Okay. Right, so next thing I'm going to do would be to fill this up the new create a new fill layer. It should be completely black. Complete black. Uh okay, no, not yet. Not yet. We just give it red instead. So you can really see the coverture of this properly. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to duplicate this layer. Set this to white. Maybe not completely white, something around there like so. You know, faded shade of white. Now add the black marks to this. 
then I'll add a few layer. Let me just type in sports in here. We always go Shan Sports. Uh, this one a bit more. This one looks interesting. So this branch, let me add this on top of it. Uh, Trapping and mapping. Increase the scale some more. Okay. Trying to figure out if I like how this is or maybe change it up a bit more. Well, let me just leave that for now. Let's put another new few layer. Let's hide this. Let's bring in another. Let's try this. Okay. A few interesting ones in here. Let's try this Goshen Sports. Set this at 4K resolution. Increase the contrast. Try planar mapping. Squash this a bit more. Okay. I think I cannot prefer this one instead. Play with the balance. Put more contrast in there. Okay. And I'll add a blow filter to this. So let's see the marks. See the marks for this. So I need to go back in there and then. Get some more contrast in there. Maybe we'll drag this on top instead. Turn it on. Then do a multiply. Let's turn this off and on. I think this is looking nice. Go back in here to the Goshen Sports. Maybe set this to five instead. Okay, something like let's try this. Let's try this out. So I'm going to export this out. This is, going to, this is going to be our max, so I'm going to export in this out as um, no, it's think missing something. Set this to full black. Save this out. Export textures. So we need, we need the base.
Why is it being named the punk? What is a weird one? Oh yeah, the material. It doesn't know the material. Doesn't know the material. So I need to change that. Change the name. Uh, Scalp marks. Okay. Spoke textures. Uh, let's use this extra this plus dilution plus um, transparency. So I only need to export out the color map. I only need the color. I only need, I only need the color map in here. Over settings, set 4K. Come in here, create a new go to expectation, create a new folder in here. Scalp marks select export. Okay, so that's fine. Let's check this out. Let's see if we have everything in there. Let's open this up. Let's see what we have. So this is what we have. Okay, I think we can work with this. Close that out. You have full black background. Just a piece of PNG. So I think I would just like to convert this to a JPEG material, a JPEG, JPEG. So background should be should be automatically black or maybe let's just drive to photoshop instead just to make sure this is on black already save this out i think i can, I think I can, I can just replace this yes please since this is already on black the background is already on black so save this Okay, then back to then back in here. Okay, so let's go to our render setup. Rather, rather the hyper sheet. Let's go to the hyper sheet for this. This is the white hair. You have some red. I was trying out, kind of testing out a few things previously. So testing out a few things previously. So let me just delete. Delete all of this. Uh, delete all of this. Delete this mix shader also. I think I'll start by implementing using the mix shader in here to kind of drive this. So we have a uh, AI top air, and we have this white air in here also. So I'm going to try using the mix AI mix shader in here. Okay, so for the shader one. For the shader one, I'll just drag this and plug to the shader one.
Let's see, hope I'm doing this correctly. Then the AI right here, I'll do this to share that too. Okay. Then for the mix node, I need to bring in that black and white texture we just created. So I'll drag and drop this in here. <clears throat> select this. Let's select this to push this out. Then I'd like to plug this to a color correct node first. So AI color correct. Select this first. Raw alpha is luminance. Then plug the out color to input. Now plug the out alpha to mix. As it's not connecting. Okay, yeah, it's connecting now. Select this. Mm, select this to drag this out. Let's minimize this. Come in here. Select the edge. The this top edge description. Then right click and hold on this. Apply to selected. Okay, now see something in here now. But let's need to check some. I need to check something first. If I invert this, I don't see if you can if you can if you can actually visualize this on the viewports. If I should invert this, I see that doesn't need to in the viewports. Not really. I guess we just have to render this out. Let's see what we have. So turn this off. I'm not entirely sure if it's working or not. I think I need to get something a bit broader in Substance Painter. So let's go back to Substance. Let's, let me stop this for now. Stop this for now. I'll go back to substance paint. I think I already have this scalp is quite visible, so let's hide this scalp. So go back to substance painter. Or substance painter in here. I will just duplicate this. Then the Gaussian sports pain. This thing rather, I'm just going to. Oh, that's the wrong one. This one here, yeah, this right one. Uh, I need something that's a broader spot to it. Let's UV mapping, no. Open up mapping. Send it a bit too much. Okay, see so something like this. Just we can randomize this some more like so. Uh, okay, let us try this. So I'm going to export this out again. Something new. Let me name. Let me just rename this to one. Set one in front. Uh. Okay. Export this out. Should I it's exported now? Let me just rename this to two. 
bring this back into Photoshop and receive as JPEG. Okay, I'll save as PNG. You can also use to replace your previous one, the one that is already there. Okay. Then I'll go back into my uh, in here. Select this. Then just replace it. Then just replace this. Okay, SP maps. Uh, okay, open this up. Raw applies luminance. Try this again. Let's turn that is out. Let's see if we're in there now. See some more whiteness in there now. Let's see if that actually does anything. Yeah, I think it does. It's doing something in there. I see some more whiteness of air around it. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually working. It's actually working. Okay, we're going to do the same moment to kind of run through. Okay. Probably come up in the system, but it might take it a little white to kind of render out because um, because, um white hair or brighter hair, like blue or much more brighter hair, kind of absorbs more light and takes a bit of time to render out accurately. But so I can see, can see that wasn't some there, getting more white hair around that, around this. Which is kind of desaturating. Just kind of just kind of desaturating some of the black we have been and making it slightly faded or docking. I also like to try something also to maybe on the on the what's it called? The top hair, which is kind of black. A base hair which is kind of black. If we can make that even darker. Kind of creates better contrast in there, maybe. Let's try this on this. Let's see what we have. Okay, this can actually mix the white part even more. The white paper part even more. You can actually see some white strands in here also coming out from this region even more. This kind of cool. See, at least this is one way to kind of experiment experiment and then try something different it's gonna get gonna kind of get better looking results gonna kind of get better results so usually I'm getting something a bit cleaner but since you are doing some measure of white hair in there so it's kind of so it's kind of um time to run you can obviously see some white hair pin through some of this as you can see so i'll come when this is done let me just give you some time to render out and i'll come when this is done thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in this lesson bye for now
So in fact, you can so in substance painter you can have there's so much control you can have over this. You can even manually paint in regions where you want some major white hairs to be since what kind of painting is in 3D view. So you have control over painting where you want more white hairs to actually be on the on the model. This is like one way to kind of go about it, and then you get your desired results, right? So, yeah, this is actually looking quite nice. I'm getting a brick, 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 brick box of white around, so apply the same material to it also. There are plenty of material to get. You can actually see of the tip catching that white hair effect right it's just it's time to render sometimes to render and come and come back when this is done so yeah thank you guys for watching see you guys next lesson bye for now